Hi everyone, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard and today I'm going to show you how to use the new appointment request page and the notifications feature. So here on your main Doggy Dashboard homepage, if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see a box you can click that will show you your website buttons. So we click the box and now here is some code you can copy and paste into your website and when you do that it'll add this nice little blue button to your website that lets your clients request an appointment with your business. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that button and then you'll see the appointment request page that pops up uh, for your business. And you'll see there's a little message here at the top that's talking to you because you're logged in. What we're gonna do is we're going to log out of Doggy Dashboard and then refresh this page. And this is what you know, your appointment request page looks like when your client shows up. So I'm going to pretend that I'm your client um, and you're going to be the owner of Muddy Pups Boarding and Grooming. So what happens is one of your clients that you know named Sandy wants to drop off her dogs for a couple days of boarding. So Sandy is on your website. She clicks the button and now she's on your appointment request page. And she comes down here and she puts her name in as Sandy Basil and her phone number is 555-1212. And her email is sandy at example.com. And not say Sandy wants to request an appointment uh, from the 22nd until the 27th, let's say. And now Sandy knows she's already one of your current clients. So she knows that your uh, her pets are saved in the system. So she just says something like, hi, guys, I want to drop off the dogs from 7 a.m. on the 22nd to 8 p.m. on the 27th. We're going on vacation. Uh, please clip their nails. Send a confirmation if you can. Okay, and then she hits four there to make sure she's on a spam bot and she sends her appointment request. And then once it goes through, Sandy gets this message that says success. Uh, Muddy Pups Boarding and Grooming will contact you to confirm your appointment. So now Sandy's done. She goes about her business. And uh, what happens now for you as a business owner? Well, you're going to get an email in your inbox that says, hi, Muddy Pups Boarding and Grooming, or whatever your business name is. Um, Sandy Basil just requested an appointment with your business. And here's the information that I just typed in. Name, Sandy Basil, email, Sandy at example. The requested appointment date was December 22nd. Uh, the ending date was December 27th. And here's that message. I want to drop off the dogs from 7 a.m. on the 22nd to 8 p.m. on the 27th. So uh, now you as a business owner, you can cl click this link to accept or deny the request. We're going to click that link. It's going to bring you to Doggy Dashboard. So we're going to quickly log in Oop, and the email. And then we're going to put the password in. And that's going to take you to the Doggy Dashboard's notifications uh, area. This is a brand new feature I just built. Um, from the home page, you can also get there by clicking this red button that says new notification. It kind of catches your attention uh, to let you know there's something you need to do. So we click on that new notification and it says Sandy Basil requested an appointment for December 22nd. Um, so what do we do? We need to take action. So let's click this link. So now here it takes you to the appointment request center, which is a new area once again that lets you accept or deny appointments. Um, so here is all the information that Sandy submit. This is the stuff I just typed. Um, so if we recognize this client and uh, we can keep the, take their appointment, uh, we're going to request, we're going to accept it. But let's say we can't uh, because we need more information. We click Sandy's email and then look, a little email box pops up that says question about your December 22nd appointment request. And we'll say something like, hi, Sandy, um, would you like us to include a grooming package as well. Uh, thanks, Patrick from Muddy Pups. Uh, and then we're going to send that email to Sandy. And then it'll come right back to the request page telling you that the email was delivered and that when they were when Sandy replies, it'll go to your email here. And then there's the email we just sent to Sandy. Hi, Sandy, would you like us to include a grooming package as well? So now we'll wait for Sandy to write back if she does. Um, but let's imagine that we recognize Sandy. We don't need any more information and we want to schedule an appointment. Um, we have two options here. We can schedule it on the homepage calendar, which is what most users use, just the regular appointments calendar. Uh, or if you are a kennel-based business where you have specific boarding runs and pets do not uh, sleep 
freely, let's say, or sleep in their owner's kennels, then you want to click on the kennel appointment calendar, which brings up the different calendar, which has these specific uh, slots. So kennel three on the 26th, uh, kennel two on the 23rd. And since we know that Sandy's pets, um, they're going to have their own little crate spot with brought with them, excuse me, uh, we're going to just put them on our main homepage calendar. So we're going to click regular appointment calendar. And then you'll see that the calendar uh, knows that Sandy requested the appointment on the 22nd. So it opens up the calendar right to the 22nd for you. And so we can see it looks like we're actually wide open, not a single appointment. So we're definitely going to accept this appointment. So we're going to click on the 22nd and this little pop-up window here happens. Um, so now we know Sandy's dogs are named Abigail and Atlanta. Uh, they're in our database. She's come here for years. So we're just going to quickly find the first one, which is Abigail. Click on Abigail. And then you'll see that it, uh, Doggy Dashboard asks, do we want to schedule Atlanta as well? We do. So we click Atlanta's name. And now she said, <clears throat> excuse me, the appointment was from the 22nd. She would drop them off at 7 a.m. And it wanted to go to the 27th at 8 p.m. And we're going to send a confirmation email because she wanted one. And we're going to say, thanks for your business. We'll see you on the 22nd. Uh, and then a private note, we want to say, please clip their nails before they leave. This is for yourself or your employees when they see this appointment. So it looks good. We're going to schedule the appointment. And we can even go here. We'll put it as a boarding. It's an overnight boarding appointment. The appointment type is not required, though. We'll schedule that appointment. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what we'll see is that the appointment was created successfully. If we scroll down, there you go. December 22nd, uh, Abigail and Atlanta come in at 7 a.m. It's green because that's the day they arrive. The 23rd to the 26th, they're yellow because they're overnight staying. They're not coming nor going. And then on the 27th there at 8 p.m., Abigail and Atlanta are leaving. Now, if we click either of these appointments, we'll get a nice pop-up, and it'll tell us that it's a multi-pet multi boarding. And then here, please clip their nails before they leave. So we're all good to go. And then just to show you, the upcoming appointment email was sent to Sandy. Hi, Sandy. You have an upcoming appointment with Muddy Pups Boarding and Grooming. 7 a.m. on the 22nd to 8 p.m. on the 27th. A boarding appointment for Abigail in Atlanta. Thanks for your business. We'll see you on the 22nd. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the new uh, notifications feature that works with the appointment request form. I hope it makes running your business a little bit easier. Thanks for choosing, jo <laughs> Thanks for choosing Doggy Dashboard. Have a great afternoon. Bye.